Join us on this lovely spring evening on a tour around the world-famous Ringstrasse in Vienna, Austria. Our round trip starts at the Schwarzenbergplatz, named after the famous Habsburg General Karl Philipp, Prince of Schwarzenberg. He was a victorious commander in the armies of Kaiser Franz Joseph I. His statue can be seen high on a horse in the middle of the square. After passing the Café Schwarzenberg on the right and the Hotel Imperial on the left we are entering the Kärtner Ring. Here we find some of the most prestigious hotels in Vienna. On the right the Grand and the Bristol, and on the left the Hotel the Ring. The Kärtner Ring ends here at the Karlsplatz where the world-famous Vienna State Opera is located on the right as we drive by. You recognize it easily by the statues of the winged horses on each corner and the green metal roof. Here the ring road starts to be the opera ring which we will follow until we come to the Hofburg aerial. The opera ring is a beautiful tree-lined boulevard lined with little cafes, restaurants and exclusive shops. Here on the left you will also find the Millennium Hotel, one of the best addresses in Vienna and superbly located for all your sightseeing. It may interest you to know that the space occupied by the Ring Road today was actually occupied by the massive medieval city wall. The old defensive structure was torn down in the mid-19th century to make room for the circular boulevard which is known today as the Vienna Ringstrasse. The old city wall, which had been built during the 13th century and funded by the ransom payment derived from the release of Richard I of England also known as Richard the Lionheart, and reinforced as a consequence of the first Turkish siege in 1529 and the Thirty Years' War in 1618 had proven impenetrable for more than 600 years. On entering the Burg Ring on the right you find the massive area of the Hofburg, the state residence and city castle of the Habsburg family, which reigned over the Austro-Hungarian Empire for more than a thousand years. On the left you find the two sister museums, first the Museum of Fine Arts and next to it the Natural History Museum, both built and opened in 1867 as part of the Ringstrasse development. The Hofburg is the former principal imperial palace of the Habsburg dynasty. Located in the center of Vienna, it was built in the 13th century and expanded several times afterwards. It also served as the imperial winter residence, as Schönbrunn Palace was only used during the summer. Since 1946 it is the official residence and workplace of the President of Austria. Ever since 1279 the Hofburg area has been the documented seat of government. The Hofburg has been expanded over the centuries to include new residences like the Amalienburg and the Albertina. Located here are also the Imperial Chapel, the Imperial Library, the Treasury, the Burg Theatre, the Spanish Riding School and the Imperial Muse. Whilst we stand at this traffic light we take a look to the left to this strangely Greek looking building. This is the Austrian Parliament. Here the two houses of Parliament conduct their sessions. The foundation stone was laid in 1874, the building was completed in 1883. The architect responsible for its Greek revival style was Theophil Hansen. He designed the building holistically, aiming to have each element harmonizing with all the others. He was therefore also responsible for the interior decoration, such as statues, paintings, furniture, chandeliers, and numerous other elements. Hansen was honored by Emperor Franz Joseph with the title of Freiherr which corresponds to the title of a baron after its completion. Following heavy damage and destruction in World War II, most of the interior has been restored to its original splendor. After leaving the Austrian parliament behind us, we enter the Universitätsring. On the right we pass the Volksgarten, a lovely small park belonging to the Hofburg and the Burg Theater. But the real jewel in the crown of the Ring Road is the Vienna City Hall coming up on the left. The Vienna City Hall is the seat of local government of the city of Vienna, located here on the Ring Road. 
constructed from 1872 to 1883 in a neo-Gothic style according to plans designed by Friedrich von Schmidt, it houses the office of the Mayor of Vienna as well as the chambers of the City Council. For a brief period between 1892 to 1894, the Vienna City Hall was the world's tallest building, until it was eclipsed by the Milwaukee City Hall. After passing the famous Café Landmann, a hangout for the rich and famous of Vienna, we come past at the Vienna University on the left, which gave this part of the Ringstrasse its name. On the next crossing we pass the Schottentor, named after one of the main gates to the medieval city of Vienna. From here on we drive on the Schotten Ring which leads past the old stock exchange and the Kempinski Hotel on the right and takes us shortly to the Franz Josef Sky, which is the longest stretch of this boulevard named after its builder Emperor Franz Josef I. The old stock exchange is easily recognized by its beautiful red brick architecture. Today it houses bars, cafes, restaurants and offices. As we pass the brown structure Kempinski Hotel on the right we slowly come to the end of the Schottenring and turn onto the Franz Josef Sky. While we wait at this traffic light to turn onto the Franz Josef Sky, let me tell you a little bit more about the old medieval city wall, which occupied the space that we are currently driving on. The Vienna city walls were structures that served to fortify the city of Vienna from the times of the Celtic and Roman camps in Vindabona. They have been expanded and modernized over the centuries, but demolished in 1858 to 1864. The inner ring of fortifications encompassed the city center of Vienna and, in an emergency, also offered refuge for the population from the suburbs. An additional outer ring of fortifications around the suburbs was created with the line wall at the beginning of the 18th century. The Vienna city walls survived several sieges, including the first and second Turkish sieges. The Franz Josef Sky is between 50 meters and 100 meters wide and almost 1.3 kilometers long. It is the northernmost part of the Ringstrasse around the old medieval city center of Vienna. It is located along the Donau Canal, a side arm of the River Danube. Here, in medieval times, where the unloading keys located. River barges came right alongside the old city wall and massive wooden cranes lifted the good onto the city wall for distribution. Today, alongside the Franz Josef Sky, you find many street cafes, restaurants and shops. The wide boulevard invites you to stroll in the shadows under old linden trees or just sit in one of the street cafes and watch the passers-by. Here, on the Franz Josef Sky, is also the place where you would take a river boat for a day or evening cruise. You can also take a fast boat all the way to Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia. This ride, on the Twin City Liner, only takes about 1 hour and 15 minutes and runs several times a day. Thank you.
After leaving the Franz Josef sky behind us, we turn right at the Uranial Observatory onto the Stuben Ring. Immediately we pass on the left the Ministry of Finance and on the right the Vienna Chamber of Commerce. The Radetzky Monument in front of the Ministry of Finance here on the left is an equestrian statue from 1892 and dedicated to what is probably the most important military commander of the Austrian Empire, Field Marshal Joseph Wenzel Radetzky von Radetz. The Markor Museum of Applied Arts is an arts and crafts museum located on the left in this imposing brick building. Besides its traditional orientation towards arts and crafts and design, the museum especially focuses on architecture and contemporary art. The museum has been at its current location since 1871. Since 2004 the building is illuminated in the evenings by the permanent outdoor installation mark light of American artist James Tyrell. We are slowly coming to an end of our round trip around the Wiener Ringstrasse, but not before passing the Stadtpark on the left. Scattered throughout the park are statues of famous Viennese artists, writers, and composers, including Hans Cannon, Emil Jacob Schindler, Johann Strauss II, Franz Schubert, and Anton Bruckner. The opulent Coup Salon building on Johannesgasse, with its broad terrace that reaches into the park, is the site of popular waltz concerts. Passing the Vienna Marriott Hotel on the right and coming up on the Ritz-Carlton Hotel on the left, we arrive back at the Schwarzenberg Platz and the conclusion of our journey around the Vienna Ring Road. If you have stayed with us until the end, we thank you very much for watching this video. Please consider, if you not already have done so, to subscribe and like this video. We would also appreciate any comment for us. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day wherever you may be just now.